Hi, my name is Jamie Conklin, and I'm a librarian for the School of Nursing. Let's begin with a question. When you have a research paper, how do you save your articles? For example, do you email them to yourself? Do you save them to your computer? Or do you use a reference manager? In this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite tools called SciWheel. SciWheel is a web-based reference manager that can save you loads of time by allowing you to save all your references in one place, to cite while you write in Microsoft Word, and to collaborate with others sharing references as needed. In this video, we'll walk through creating an account, setting up a library, importing references, citing articles in Microsoft Word, and tr troubleshooting. I'm going to walk you through these processes one at a time and allow you some time to pause so that you can recreate the steps yourself. I'm also going to stop my video so that you're able to see everything in the upper right hand corner. Let's begin by getting a SciWheel account. You'll start at the Health Sciences Library's webpage. In the upper blue bar, we'll click on Research and Teaching, and then Citing and Writing Tools. Note that there are other re reference managers. If you're already using one of these, there's no need to get a SciWheel account. If you're not, let's go ahead and get started with SciWheel. I'd recommend opening the SciWheel guide in a new tab so we can refer to that later, and then click on the SciWheel registration sign-in page. From here, You'll click on No, I'm a new user and enter your UNC email address when you're creating your account. So now it's your turn. I ask that you navigate to the SciWheel guide. Here's the direct link if that's more useful. Register for an account and remember to click No, I'm a new user and to enter your UNC email address. Great, now that you have an account, let's go ahead and set up your library. When you first log into SciWheel, it will take you to your dashboard page where you can see all your projects. Now, since you're just starting out, yours will look pretty blank. The References tab is where you will see all the references you have stored in your library. On the left-hand side is where you can create private or shared projects. I'm going to go ahead and create a new private project for my interprofessional education paper, and I'll just name it IPE for short. Another thing that we want to do is change uh, a setting in your account so that, UN, so that SciWheel recognizes you as a UNC affiliated student. To do that, we'll click on your account in, under your initials in the right hand corner. And then on the left, we'll click on proxy settings. This is the URL that you want to see here. Most likely yours is blank. So in order to get that URL, you'll click on the guide that I had mentioned earlier and then click on full text via proxy server on the left-hand side. Then you'll want to copy and paste the URL that is shown in red and put it into your SciWheel account settings. In addition, I'd ask that under the tools menu, you go ahead and install the browser extension. In my case, I'm using Firefox and um, the Word plugin so that you'll be able to cite and write within Microsoft Word. The browser extension will be a small SciWheel icon. Okay, so now it's your turn. I'd ask that you, one, create a project. Two, change your proxy URL settings by again going to account and proxy settings. And three, install the browser extension and the Word plugin from the tools menu. All right, now that you have a project created, let's go ahead and fill it with references. To do so, we'll navigate back to the Health Sciences Library and go to PubMed. From here, you can launch your search, and I've just copied and pasted one here from before. And once you search within PubMed, SciWheel will automatically recognize, oh, I'm actually not signed in here, so if this happens to you, just go ahead and sign yourself in. SciWheel will automatically recognize that you have 10 articles that you're viewing on the page, and you can choose to highlight a couple of them that you want to bring in, or if you like all 10 of them, you can select all, and then you can tell SciWheel where to put these particular items. So I'm choosing the IPE folder I just created. And then all items have been added, and I can click to view one in my library. 
And if I go back a page here, I can get to my IP folder and see that all 10 references have been brought in from PubMed. So let's repeat this process in CINAHL. So back at the HSL website, I'll click on CINAHL. Launch my search. And again, SciWheel recognizes that we're looking at 10 articles on this page. And I'm going to opt to send all 10 to SciWheel. And now if I go to uh, my IPE folder, I can reload my page here. And now I see all 20 articles here. Note that if you bring in a duplicate reference from the second database you're searching, SciWheel will alert you to the fact that there are duplicates and will you have the option to merge the records. All right, so now it's your turn to give that a try. Go ahead and search and export records into SciWheel from PubMed and CINAHL. Remember that you can get to PubMed and CINAHL from the library's quick links and then use your browser extension tool to select the references you want and to add them to the project that you created. Now that you have some references, let's do the fun part of citing and writing within Microsoft Word. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Word. You'll notice once you install the plugin, you'll have a new tab in Word called SciWheel. And from here, you can insert citations. So I can just go to insert citation. And then I can search for a specific reference if I remember the author's name or the title. I can also choose that I want it to come from my IPE project. And you can also sort by first author or title and other mechanisms. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the first one and bring it in. You may notice when you did this that it put a number one here. So you want to double check the style. Um, when you first use SciWall, the default is Vancouver style. So you wanna look for the APA 7th edition style for the School of Nursing. And then once you're ready to create your bibliography, you can tell SciWheel to do that. It says, would you like to place it at the end of the document? And then you can scroll down and see the bibliography. And I had actually already cited a previous citation, so now we're seeing two citations. And one thing I would say is that you definitely want to double check the title to make sure it's all in the correct title case, as well as the name of the journal. Sometimes those two items come across as incorrect. If that happens, then you just need to go to SciWheel. So for example, this one would be incorrect because it's all in title uppercase. When you click on an article, you have the option to edit, and you can edit the metadata, navigate to the title, and then you could go through and actually change the information here. And then once you save that information, you can go back to your Microsoft Word and tell it to update citations. So that is how you use the writing and citing tool within Microsoft Word. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and take some time to add a citation into Word and edit the citation within SciWheel if needed. That brings us to the final part of this video and that is what to do if you have problems using SciWheel. You'll note that when you're in SciWheel there is a chat option in the bottom right hand corner and SciWheel, the SciWheel team is very responsive. So if they don't get back to you immediately, they will within a couple of hours and you'll get an email or if you stay logged in, you'll see the chat um, response that they have for you. And as I mentioned before, you can check out our SciWheel guide for some more tips. You can always ask us at the library through our ask us link or you can reach out to me directly at jconklin at unc.edu. Thank you so much for listening and following along. I hope that you are all set up for SciWheel and that you find it to be a very useful tool. Thank you and take care.